Hey, Anthony, if I could ask you about the ring first, uh, that element of the Kobe a Mamba snake behind kind of entwined all the numbers. Just wonder what you thought of that feature and if anything else about it stood out. I haven't really looked at the ring yet. You know, um, and once we get it, to see how bright it is and enjoy it from that standpoint and then start taking pictures and things like that. So I haven't really got a chance to you know, really dissect the ring. Um, we're pretty sure that's a cool feature. Um, ring is great. I mean, it sucks that we lost on, on, on ring night, but um, to have that feeling again and, and we lived with the team uh, and, and our teammates um, that was there was, was definitely a great night for us. And then it, kind of pushing that aside, what did you think of the basketball uh, tonight? How was that transition from ring night to playing? And, and well, where did you guys fall short in the biggest way tonight? Yeah, um, we did some good things. We did some bad things. We're going to look at film tomorrow and try to figure it out. Um, we haven't had that much time together. You know, me and Dennis on pick and roll, still trying to figure out, you know, uh, you know where I like the ball. He's trying to figure out if he should go score. You know, um, defensively, the rotations. Uh, we didn't have Mark a lot this tonight because uh, of foul trouble. Um, and we're still trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, like, we got new guys. Wes trying to get in the swing of things. Uh, Dennis, Mark, um, you know, even myself and Brian. I had four turnovers today. Um so we're still trying to figure each other out, and it's it's an early, it's a long season, early in the year. Um, no making mistakes that we won't make you know, in January. So I mean, it's good that we're getting it out of the way early, and you know, we're still trying to figure out, you know, lineups and figure out, um, you know, schemes and things like things like that. But you know, we'll watch film tomorrow and, and dissect it even more, and um, be ready for Friday. Dave. Anthony, I want to stay on the ring. It's the first time you won a ring in the in the league, and just put it on your finger. And uh, you know, you said you didn't get to totally check out all the details of it, but you know, seeing the shine and feeling the weight of it, you just take me to what it's like to you know, you finally have a ring. It's heavier than I thought, for sure. Um, you know, even when I was I was like, man, I'm gonna play with my ring on, and I did like a little shooting motion. It's like it is super heavy, and it's it's. I don't know. It's just something that you you cherish forever. I don't understand how guys, some guys, you know, comes out of the report that they sell their rings and things like. I can't, I can't see that. You know, it, it just holds so much, you know, you know, value for me as a basketball player that it's an accomplishment. Like everyone doesn't have one of these, and um, I get to say that I have one. Uh, I put it in a safe place, and you know, now this entire season, I get to look at that ring and remind me of what you know what we've done uh, what i've done and, and you get that feeling of i want i want another one you know and brian told me and um when we we're when genie and, 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 and you know adam was talking he was saying something about when you're paying attention and he was like oh, i can see his eyes he want another one and they were telling qc so you know it just makes you want to you know get another one of those and, and really really uh, relive that feeling Dan. AD, it's been 72 days since you guys actually won that title. Um, what's been the hardest part, the, the mental or the physical kind of turnaround? And, and how, how are you going to deal with that over the next month or so as you kind of get into this season? Um, I think it's both physical, just from the standpoint of trying to get your body back ready for the season. Um, after the game, me and Ron like, we can't believe we just played a basketball game. You know, it's only been a couple months. So, um, you know, trying to get your body back in game shape um, all the time that you usually have also recover your body. Uh, you're trying to balance that with staying sharp and staying in shape for for the season. Um, and then the mental part, just mentally, you know, being here, um, like you say, it's a, it's a short off season, just one or two months ago. Uh, and now you got to wrap your head around and we got to play again. Like we have to play tonight. Uh, we got to play Friday. And it's a back to back. Like mentally getting prepared for that. Um, it can it can it can get to some guys, but the good thing about it, we got a a, a very deep team. You know, we got 11, 12 guys that can play anywhere in the league. So um, it's good when you know guys might need to take a minutes back or you know coach say, hey, we want to sit you this game. That we got guys who can fill that role. So. Uh, we can gradually work our way into um, the 
back to the swing of things. So that's the good thing about it. But we're here. There's nothing we can do about it. We got to find ways to to help us win, find ways to uh, make our bodies go. And uh, we got a great training staff. Um, got great coaches to, to help us. Kyle? Um, AD, you talked about sort of the weirdness and, and well, LeBron definitely talked about the weirdness of, of playing a game today and um, seemed like there were points where the game lacked a little urgency. What did really specifically Dennis and Trez do to, to kind of bring in some energy to the game? And do you see that being really valuable, especially in these opening weeks? Yeah, for sure. Um, Dennis pushed the pace. Uh, he wants to run. You know, he said out the game, like, man, we, we got to run more. I want to run, uh, which is good. Um, with him being able to get to the paint, they can touch the paint eight times and made a great pass to guys or finished uh, or got fouled. Um, you know, bringing that to our team and, and, and then, you know, eventually picking picking up 94 feet. Um, and uh, Trey is coming in with a, with a defensive uh, mindset, his offensive rebounding. Um, and once he always bring that energy. You know, he, he's going to play with energy, you know, yelling and, and, you know, getting hype. You know, and that's what we need. You know, it's like you say, especially in the early part to get us back in the flow of things. You know, Trance is going to bring that spark, and, and so is Dennis. And, um, you know, when you got guys like that, and, you know, it makes you want to go harder. It makes you want to play faster. Um, so in these early, you know, games where we might see a little drained or uh, body's not feeling where it's supposed to be, when you got two guys like that, it's like, you know, you kind of get that second win. Like, let's go. I'm waiting on Tanisha to say it. You know what? Last two questions. Last two. Rachel. Hey, AD. I'm just wondering uh, what from tonight, whether it's playing a real, like, official game in an empty arena, playing with these teammates that you guys are still working in together, what you will take from tonight's game that you can already directly apply to Friday's Christmas game? Um... It was cool playing, you know, um, and back in the arena, um, even though it wasn't with the fans. And like I said, we're still trying to learn each other. So, like I said, we'll watch film tomorrow, and, you know, I'll watch film tonight. Uh, I already talked to Dennis. He's going to watch film tonight. We're going to text each other um, through the course of the night and try to figure out how we can be better. Um, like I said, we got a deep team. We got guys who, who was out of the bubble for a while and that came, that came here that's ready to – to get going, uh, we got guys who are still trying to, you know, get them back to the swing of things. So we got we got a well balanced team, and um, I know we're going to watch a lot of defense. You know, offense will come. We're not really you know too concerned about offense, but uh, we are concerned about defense, and uh, we'll figure that out and, and be ready for Friday. It's not going to get any easier <laughs> Friday or or any other games we play against Minnesota and Portland. Um, so we got to be ready to go, uh, especially on the defensive end. So we'll we'll walk through some things tomorrow and. Uh, get ready for the game Friday and get to the Dallas team. Last question, Maximilian. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Anthony, just, just following up on playing with Dennis, um, how well do you think you two did today already or the team with him? Uh, I think we did all right. Uh, he, he made some great plays. Uh, yeah, I think he ran the pick and roll very well. Uh, it was some plays that was my fault, some plays that was his that we're going to talk about and, and try to figure out. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it takes time, you know, when you're playing with the new guy. Um, I'm trying to learn him. He's trying to learn me. He's trying to figure out where I like the ball. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what he likes to do on big roles. He has a great mid-range game, uh, which is good for us. Um, but I think we did. I think we was. I'll give, us a, I'll give, us, I'll give it a B. Um, it could be better, but it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. So. I said, we'll watch film and, and me and him will talk uh, individually and try to figure out ways that we can be better than the same. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.